story kicks off with some protesters protesting outside this governor crib. Apparently dude's an ex-Klan member who resides on his former slave plantation. But Trump is hella unbothered about the controversy as he roasts the fuck out of the fellow brothers protesting in the crowd. Starting to look like a damn minstrel show out there. They were as relentless about finding a job as they are hounding me. We might put an end to welfare. Curious about the eerie pain, Uncle Tom then asked Trump to spit a few details about the hunting illustration. Miss Cobb's an old voodoo woman bought the place. That's, that's her there in the mural. What are those? Dolls. Legend is she transferred the souls of the slaves into little dolls. Negro dolls. Word is, they remain in the house right to this day. After receiving the gossip, Uncle Tommy then moves forward with doing his actual job, which is to coach Trump on being likable to the public. As Uncle Tom begins to start his mock interview, a voodoo doll then shows up on the stairs. The coon then trips on it, ending his life. Trump ends up crashing the house nigga funeral, causing the news crew and the protesters to vent out their frustration. The rumor that Mr. Willis's death was the result of some mysterious circumstance. What about that, sir? No, no, it was simply an unfortunate accident. You need to be scared, Mr. Metcalf. Them souls don't want you there. They didn't want him there. Now you best to leave, or you'll end up just like him, or worse. As Trump and his crew flees the scene, he then begins to notice a voodoo doll on the limo's floor, which causes him to spaz out on a black driver, tossing the doll out afterwards. Soon after, Trump arrives back to his crib to review footage of him and Uncle Tom that was shot days prior, in which he quickly noticed that same dog from earlier making a cameo. Feeling extra salty, Trump then glances back at the painting, just to notice that one of the dolls is missing. Trump and the dog then come to blows, ending with the racist governor blasting some lead into the Chris Rock action figure. Thinking that the war is won, Trump then travels back to his office to celebrate, but his mood was instantly turned down when he began to notice more dolls missing from the painting. Chris Rock tries to run up on Trump, but the racist bigot ends up fleeing to his office, locking the doors quickly after. Trump then glances back at the eerie painting, just to notice not one doll in sight. The story finally ends with Trump getting eaten alive as the voodoo queen gazes on at her work. More of the story is, don't be on that racist shit.